Hey guys, Mike Chen. Before getting into this video, I just want to give a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video, Mukbi Food App. If you don't know, Mukbi is a completely free food app. Mukbi's mission is to build a community of food lovers all around the world so that wherever you are in the world, you'll be able to find amazing food recommended by people that actually love food. Instead of being restaurant focused, Mukbi is dish focused. So whatever you're in the mood for, pizza, noodles, search for it and see what food lovers are recommending. What's also cool about this app is that for a long time now, people have been messaging me, asking me for my favorite food recommendations for a specific city or country. So if you want to see, it's all right here. You can create a list of your favorite dishes. So here I already added some of my favorite food items in San Francisco, Tokyo, Singapore, Las Vegas, New York. You can share the list with your family, friends. You can make it public. You can ask other people to add recommendations to your list. This app is just a great way to connect with fellow food lovers. So you'll have local food recommendations wherever you go in the world. And because it's a brand new app, it's a brand new community. Mukbee is encouraging everybody to share more about their local favorite foods by adding Mukbee be coins, which you can eventually redeem for restaurant discount and other great prizes. Also, from now until the end of August, every single food recommendation you post on Mukbee will enable you for one entry into a drawing for dozens of great prizes like Visa gift cards, with the grand prize being a food trip to New York City. And make sure to follow Mukbee on social media, where the winners will be announced on August 20th. And this is so helpful because lots of times I go to restaurants, I actually don't know what specific dish to get. And also, <laughs> I just love scrolling and seeing all the food. Again, this app is 100% free and I have all the download information in my description box down below. And uh, make sure you add me. So download the Mukbee app and start sharing your favorite dishes. Speaking of favorite dishes, this next soup dumpling you're about to see, one of the best I've ever tasted. Hello, Malaysia. It's been a while. Good morning from Kuala Lumpur. This is my first time back to Malaysia in about four or five years. And this is gonna be kind of a weird trip. I'm on a long stop over here for about 36 hours. And I wanted to get a buffet in while I'm here. But right now I am at Lipo Heen to try out some of their signature dishes, which is gonna include some seafood, wagyu beef, dim sum, and a whole Peking duck. First off, I'm gonna ray up dim sum. This one, this really pretty pink one. Crab meat and egg whites on top. Top a little tobacco. Mm. Wow, this is sweet. Pure, natural, seafoody sweetness. Outside wrappers, a little mochi -esque. Very thin. This thing is almost translucent. Again, so pretty. There's some pop and shrimp in there as well to kind of accentuate the sweetness too. And the Tobiko provides a nice little bit of crunch. This one's really pretty. Charcoal swan, so beautifully made. Inside it's duck meat and white radish. Might want to look away for this. As I learned from watching Marvel movies, always go for the head. Mmm. Oh, this is delightful. Super crunchy outer shell. The radish is delicious. The duck is juicy. Gravy it's sitting in is so flavorful. Oh, that duck meat melts in your mouth. And all the duck juice makes it nice and fat. I'm gonna add a little jalapeno in here just to balance out the fat a little bit. Let's pop the whole thing in my mouth. Mm. That's a must try dish. Some show mai. This is a chicken shiu mai with an absolutely melt in your mouth piece of scallop on top.
The chicken filling is so juicy as well. Also, just the overall flavor of this was delicious. This is the crystal jade hagao. You can see inside the crystal wrapper. You can see the shrimp, a little bit of greens. Mm. Every dim sum item is so amazingly scrumptious. The texture for the wrapper and the filling is just so nice and bouncy. This I'm really excited about, soup dumpling. So we got chicken herbal soup soup dumpling, truffle soup dumpling, and crab soup dumpling. Let me try the crab on here. Oh no, oh no. Mmm. This is some of the best soup dumpling I've had. Even after I broke it and then it leaked juice right in front of me, that thing was still full of soup. The skin and super light and thin. Oh no, oh no. I have a breach here. Oh no. You can definitely see the soup in the dumpling. Mmm. The outside wrapper completely melts in your mouth. The soup is amazingly flavorful. Wow, the chicken herbs taste like a delicious chicken herby soup that I actually want a bowl of. I think these might actually be the best soup dumpling I ever had. They also brought over a Peking duck. So their Peking duck is first roasted and then they flash fry it right before they roll it out and slice the skin off wrapped in a homemade little crepe with some cucumbers and scallions. Dip it a little bit in the Peking duck sauce. The crepe is nice and chewy, so you know it's homemade. The duck skin, look at how thin this is. You could hang glide on this thing. And that skin completely dissipates in seconds, leaving this wonderful fatty taste on the surface of your tongue. Mm. That's about as delicious as you can get. Food here so far, knocking out of the park, especially that soup dumpling. Next dish, stir fry wagyu with walnuts. Hmm. I've had a lot of Wagyu before. Rarely is it ever stir fried. So it's a lean cut of Wagyu, giant cubes and stir fried. This, I think now, is one of my favorite ways to eat Wagyu. Mm. First of all, that's a delicious grade of Wagyu. It's Australian Wagyu, but that thing just melts in your mouth. You taste the marbling, you taste the fat, you taste the butteriness of the beef, and it's served with these, these caramelized walnuts. It's a perfect complement with the beef. Oh, Chef just came in. This is Chef Michael. Yeah. Hey, nice. hey Chef. Yeah. Thank you for the dishes. Uh, Wagyu sweet yeah. yeah, no, the walnut is so good. The sauce. It's perfect with this. So this is the codfish. So this codfish is baked in the oven. It's covered in a honey soy sauce glaze. Look at how beautiful this fish is. Sitting on top of stir fried spinach. It's got this beautiful golden outer shell covering the perfect white flaky meat. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's really good. The fish is so flaky and tender. It doesn't have any miso in here. It kind of reminds me of the miso cod that I had many times before. The flavor is just so sweet and savory. Very rich and umami. And so big go on top, brings a nice crunchy texture to the deliciously tender fish. Wow. This is really, really good. On top of a delicious bed of crispy spinach as well. Mmm. And peppercorn. I'm telling you guys, this is the best soup dumpling I've ever had in my life. Had to get another portion. And what's crazy about these soup dumplings, this is not pork. This is the first soup dumplings I've ever had in my life. I think that there's no pork involved at all. Usually the pork fat is what's making the soup. Here, it's all chicken soup. Look at all the soup that's in the soup. Oh, no, 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 no. Even when I lost that much soup, there's still so much left. This thing is just a burst of pure flavor that floods your taste buds in your mouth and just gives you this euphoric feeling. You can taste the ginger, you can taste the herbalness of the soup, and it's not a pork soup dumpling. You gotta come and try this. This is just magical. This is the truffle soup dumpling. You gotta be super, super gentle because the wrapper is so... Oh, no, no, no. Mmm. 
Oh my gosh. This is the most delicate I ever have to treat a soup dumpling because this is the thinnest wrapper on a soup dumpling I ever have. This one is giant prawns with milk and some butter. And on top is egg floss. I love egg floss. This is something that uh, you see a lot here in Malaysia. I think the first time I ever had egg floss was here in Malaysia. A little bit of greens on top. Mmm. Mmm. I need a second to kind of catch my breath a little bit after that bite. It's sweet, it's buttery. Big floss is so crunchy, it melts in your mouth and coats it with this really rich taste. And then about three seconds in, the spice hits you from the shreds of chili. And you get that nice heat to kind of balance out the bad butteriness. Usually when I had the dish like this, like the mayonnaise shrimp or honey shrimp, it's really nothing to counteract the sweetness. It's kind of like sometimes a little sweetness overload. This is a magical bite of a dish. Also, the prawn is so big and sweet and tender. So you get some of that natural sweetness as well. In addition to the honey, that's a must dish. So usually when you go to a good Peking duck place, I'll take the leftover Peking duck, the duck meat, and make a dish out of it. So here, chef made a dish of stir-fried Peking duck meat with asparagus. Mm. That's great. Duck meat is still so tender. And a nice sweet crunch from the asparagus with some heat in the sauce. Tons of umami. The texture is perfect. I've had Peking duck where duck was made into a soup or stir fry with cumin and chilies. That's delicious. Also, I have the soup dish. Look at this. This is chicken soup in a teapot. And inside there's abalone, there's fish maw, there's scallops. So it's a seafood treasure soup inside chicken broth. Mm. Flavor is so light and delicate. This is really just highlighting all that beautiful flavor of the seafood. And the chicken soup is incredibly mild and yet so delightfully delicious. Mmm. Like you just wanna kinda sip on it and take a moment out of your day and just, I don't know, enjoy life. It's definitely a make you feel good and comfortable type of chicken soup, especially this giant piece of abalone. Look at this. Mmm. And a huge piece of fish mom. So this is a mango and durian pancake. We're here in Malaysia, you gotta eat some durian. Of course, mango. Oh, it's so freaking good. The crepe skin is so thin, look at this. I definitely envy this crepe skin right now. Super, super thin. The cream is fluffy and light, and the mango is just pure exotic sweetness. Mm, that's paper. Damn, the skin is thinner than paper. And this is the Mao Shang Wang Cat Mountain King Dorian. And that is one of the most popular Dorian in the world. Hmm. It definitely has that signature Dorian funk. But honestly, if you have fresh Dorian, it's way different than the frozen ones. This thing, it doesn't smell bad. Like before I smell it, kind of to me, Dorian kind of smelled like gym socks and onions. But now, it just smells custardy. And it tastes extremely custardy. And a very, very ripened flavor. Also, some mango sago with ice cream. Mm. Fruity and refreshing as it comes. There's some palm seeds in there. I love palm seeds. Some pomelo. Every bite is juicy, it's creamy. A little popping texture of the pomelo. That's a great way to finish this lunch. Welcome to the Jalan Alord Night Market. From two blocks away, I smell the door again. Had to change a shirt from the buffet, got stuff all over it. Everywhere you look is food, there's smoke, there's fruits, and beautiful lanterns. That turkey smells so good. Give you free samples too. Oh, it's so good. It's like a sweeter, smokier, chewier piece of bacon. Forgot how good jerky is in Malaysia. A palm balik. Haven't had this since I was in Indonesia. So inside this is sweet corn and I think some peanut powder. Mm. Sweet corn, crispy wafers. I missed this. Stop by 
this night market and just grab some street food. I miss these barbecue chicken wings all so much. Sweet and smoky and dipped in this ultra spicy dipping sauce. It's a soy based marinade, so there's tons of umami as well. So fantastic smoky aftertaste. Had these the first time they ever came to Malaysia, especially this part of the wing. So much flavor. Got a plate of razor clams. Oh my gosh, look at the sauce. It's cooked in. Chilies and garlic galore. Wow, that looks good. Woo. This is the best thing ever. Razor clams are on a league of its own in terms of the clams. My mouth feels like this clams has slammed its shell on it. So garlicky and spicy. But then you still get that sweet flavor of the clams. I mean, the clams are just so tender. Going to a seafood stall in Malaysia and just ordering a bunch of stuff. You're not gonna get something that's not delicious. I should've got some rice for the sauce. I'm going to, this needs rice. Also, I got black pepper crab, look at this. Two monster black pepper crab. This ginormous claw. It's live crab, so it's about as fresh as you can get. You can smell that pepper sauce. Give the joints a squeeze. Break it apart. Look at that delicious fresh crab meat. Oh, this is gonna be so sweet and nice. Mm. You can taste the basil. The sauce is so peppery. The sweetness of the crab definitely shines through. My crab meat is so succulent and tender. Mm. And this is another one of those dishes that you don't wanna waste a single drop of this stuff. Dip that claw meat into the pepper sauce. That's so ridiculously sweet. All that delicious crab innards, don't forget about that. That's always the best part. This has been a delicious walk down food memory lane at this night market. I eat this and go get a dory. And then finally, dessert is gonna be Cat Mountain King Dorian. There's a place where they'll just cut Dorian for you, and you can just sit down and eat it. Oh my gosh, fresh Dorian, there's nothing like it. And Cat Mountain King is the best of the best. It's so custardy, and the flavor is very, very strong. It does have a little funk, but if you like it, it turns into like a nice funk. Mm. That's a powerful, powerful taste. Super custardy. And one bite of a durian, rest of your day, you're gonna be smelling durian. But this thing is borderline addictive. I'm at a point where I don't crave durian, but when I start eating it, like the fresh ones, I can't stop. Mm. There's just this incredibly intoxicating flavor when it comes to fresh durian. And when you take a bite, it's sweet and creamy, but also slightly bitter. But the bitterness kind of adds to the flavor of the Cat Mountain King. It literally tastes like you're eating custard. Last thing you do after finishing your durian, do not throw the husk away. Pour some water in and drink it. So what that does is that it reduces the heat inside your body that was raised from eating the durian. So now, my stomach's balanced. Well, except for all that spicy seafood. That's it for another amazing food day. As always, all the places I went to, listen down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.